Hello everyone, Crystal Eater here with Mission Pet Supplies and it's Coffee with Crystal. It's Wednesday and we're a little late today because I did have a networking meeting this morning. Thank you to a dear friend of mine. Um, so I do apologize, but I was busy trying to rep Mission Pet Supplies. So super exciting. I met some awesome people um, and that's what it's all about, right? Just getting out and communicating and helping to build each other up and helping to support other local businesses. So had a great time. Um, it is, I'm still drinking my coffee. So, you know, coffee 24 seven, that's how we roll around here. Hi, Holly. Um, so guys, it's beautiful outside. If you are not outside today or haven't had your opportunity to get outside, you absolutely need to get out. And you see me, I am in a tank top. Like I am praying that Easter this Sunday has the same beautiful weather that we are experiencing right now because this is stunning. So the friends who are working their nine to five, we love you. And hopefully it is still beautiful when you get off today. It is one o'clock and uh, you only have four days, right? I agree, Holly. You only have four days, four hours left. So, uh, and then, you know, plan for a walk today. Take your dogs out for a walk. But because it's so beautiful, it's a friendly reminder that it is also flea and tick season. And guys, it was not cold enough this winter for it to like kill them off. So that is going to lead us to a very concerning problem this, this season. Summer months, guys, we need to be spraying the bejesus out of our, out, out of our yards because it's, it's, uh, we do not want any flea or tick. If anyone has ever had a flea infestation in their house, it's not good. And let me just tell you that once you have a flea infestation, fun fact, it's not Friday, but it's a fun fact. Um, they lay 50 eggs a day. And so it takes you forever to try to get rid of them because the life cycle of these boogers, once they start, then they, you, you don't know if there's eggs still remaining. So you're constantly on top of it and then you don't know where it came from. So a few little pro tips that I wanted to make sure that we shared today. Um, have you ever seen a flea? Fleas are not fun. They're little teeny tiny bugs that can either be brown, gray, or black. They're skinny, they're wingless. And how you find them is we have like flea combs that we have at Mission Pet Supplies that are super easy. You just slide it right along the, uh, the coat. And if they jump off, very clear sign that they are on there. Um, you can also just, if you have a dog with short hair, just move the hair over and, and check, like constantly be checking them because it's, although you have flea prevention, that's all it is friends. It's a prevention. It's a preventative. So you definitely want to always be on the lookout. Um, other signs that are may, may not be as obvious as a little bug hot spots. If it's a random, all of a sudden hot spots that are forming, licking and biting in certain areas, um, pale gums, if it's bad enough, because these fleas are, are biting your pet. Um, so you don't know what they're, you know, what they're, how many might be on them. It's pretty easy when you're seeing them jump off, but they hide in more of the darker spots. So it's usually like behind their ears, underneath of their arms. I've seen them. I mean, if they're infested, it's all over their back, but in the crevices on the underside of their legs, um, around their areas, it's those like dark, more moist areas is where you should be looking first and foremost. And then, you know, their back and whatnot. But um, hair loss is another one. So if there is unexplained, like all of a sudden things happening, nothing's changed in the food, your dog is five years old and all of a sudden we have hot spots, I would definitely evaluate and make sure that, the, that you're not finding any random little pesky little boogers that are sadly on your pet. Keep in mind guys that if you have, um, be cautious of like secondhand bedding because that can come in if you, if you, you know, got a deal somewhere, um, and you're, and you really have to make sure that you wash it in hot water, full blown hot water. Don't use the economy cycle. Um, really wash it in hot water and make sure that even using the sanitizer, um, in, in it, there's like different the types of chemicals or whatnot that you can add in, um, or not even chemicals, but natural things that you can add in apple cider vinegar, those kind of things that can help to kill them off. Because if there is larva or eggs that are on the bedding and you bring it into your home, now that can get onto your pet and then they can jump from pet to pet. Not to mention the bottom of your pants. If you are outside taking hikes because it's gorgeous outside these days, 
fleas can come in on in the crevices of your shoes, your laces, the bottom side of your pants, if your child was just outside rolling around in the leaves um, or in the grass, definitely check them. And we're just talking fleas. Ticks can also just attach right on. So always be checking them. Uh, we have some fantastic products that are inside of the store um, that are similar to the active ingredients in Frontline, but more cost effective or more natural solutions. Either one of them are fantastic, but you definitely, I cannot stress enough getting them on something um, to make sure that you are preventing because even prevention sometimes isn't enough. Uh, there's also things that you can add to their food. Uh, that can, I have a bug around me. Nice to see bugs, but not on our pets. <laughs> there are um, different supplements or natural things that you can add into their food so that it's internal, um, including the Mad About Organics oral care food additive that has natural flea prevention um, that not only do they get their uh, teeth uh, cleaned, their plaque tartar gingivitis is all removed from the... Um, the powder that you're gonna put just simply sprinkling over their food, but once it's ingested, the fleas don't like the smell or the flavor, which you can't smell, but they don't like the taste of their skin. So the fleas will jump right off, hopefully outside somewhere else that's not in your house or on another pet. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of things that we have internally and externally. We will get you hooked up at Mission Pet Supplies, but guys, make sure that you and anyone that you know is making sure that you get on it because it is not gonna be a good season this year. And um, another extra prevention, not just on your pet, but also so doing like diatomaceous earth outside, um, or we have different sprays that you can connect to a hose that's a whole lot easier. Again, both natural or forms um, that are more commonly noticed that you can just spray the yard, which also sprays the bushes. We have uh, little tykes that like to get underneath of our bushes, which is where a lot of ticks tend to live as well. And so by spraying, that will help to kind of protect all spots so they're not bringing it in inside either. And then even then, if it happens and there's an infestation inside of your home, we do have, um, it's like flea traps. We have sprays that can go on top of your pet or onto the their bedding, your sofas that, that are safe around both pets and your children um, that will not harm them either. So... We have you taken care of. That's what we're here for. We're here to provide you with solutions and we love doing that. So um, I, I, as always, we appreciate each and every one of you. It is Easter this weekend. So I hope that whatever you are doing, you are celebrating for all the perfect reasons that life has to offer. Um, and we hope that the weather stays this beautiful because mwah, it is fantastic out here. So um, I pray that you all have a fantastic day, a fantastic weekend, and a wonderful holiday. Enjoy your family and friends, and we will see you at 1632 Main Street or at missionpetsupplies.com. Bye!